In this video, we're talking about percent yield, what it is and how to calculate it. So here's what it is. Uh, the definition of percent yield for a chemical reaction is your actual yield divided by your theoretical yield times 100. Well, what do those mean? When you do a chemical reaction in the lab, you get a product. And when you weigh that product, the amount that you get, usually it's weighing for a mass, how much you actually get, that's your actual yield. Theoretical yield, this is what you calculate using the stoichiometry type calculations we've been talking about that you should have gotten. Now, in the laboratory, nothing ever goes perfectly. There are sometimes for reasons that you cannot control. Sometimes there is no way to get 100% yield. But for one reason or another, you normally don't get as much as you calculate you should get. So you, you weigh it, that's your actual yield. Calculate your theoretical yield, and then you can calculate your percent yield just by dividing the two, multiplying by the 100. And again, the 100 is an exact number. In a word problem, you're going to have to be told what the actual yield is. It'll be part of the word problem. What you calculate is the theoretical yield so that you can calculate the percent yield. So let's do one. So we want to find out the percent yield if you react 4.23 grams of hydrogen gas with excess oxygen, oxygen gas to, and you produce 19.8 grams of water. So if I told you how much oxygen gas reacted, then you have to go through the whole limiting reactant thing. But to keep it simple, we'll say, okay, oxygen is in excess, our limiting reactant is hydrogen, so we already know that. And this 19.8 right here, this is your actual yield. It's how much you actually produce. To calculate the percent yield, first thing we're going to do is calculate the theoretical yield using the same type of stoichiometry problem uh, calculations that we've been using. Once we get the theoretical yield, we can take the actual over theoretical times 100 to get the percent yield. So there's a balanced equation for you. Starting point is four. Point. We want to know what we want to know is how many grams of hydrogen we can produce theoretically. It's a dimensional analysis problem. Our starting point is grams of hydrogen, and our conversion factors are going to be the multiple ratio between hydrogen and water. And to use that, we're going to need the molar mass of hydrogen. And once we get the moles of water, we'll need the molar mass of water to get back out. So I should have set this up correctly. Let's make sure the units cancel. Grams of hydrogen, grams of hydrogen, moles of hydrogen, moles of hydrogen. Don't know what that is. Moles of water, moles of water. There we go. So this number right here, this is our theoretical yield. It's how many grams of water we could make theoretically calculated this. Now to calculate the percent yield, we just take the actual, which was given in the problem, so how much you, if you did the reaction, be, when you weigh it at the end, see how much you get, divided by our theoretical, we calculate it times 100, and so we see that our percent yield for this reaction is 52.4%. In other words, we made 52.4% of the amount of water that we could have made if everything went perfectly and we had gotten 100% yield.